Each year, as spring turns into summer, the residents of the small community of Nada, Kentucky, come together to celebrate the area they call home and one of its most unique features, the legendary Nada Tunnel. The day begins with the Nada Tunnel 8K, a nearly five mile foot race through the lush, rolling hills of the scenic Red River Gorge. Nearly midway through the race, runners encounter the signature moment as the route passes through the Nada Tunnel itself. Cloudy morning skies didn't slow down the over 200 competitors in this year's event who were treated to blue skies at the finish line. Yeah. All right, good job. It was it was very challenging, but awesome, awesome race. You guys run a lot? Uh, yes, yeah. usually most weekends here lately we've been running a lot. This is the lowest distance I've ran in probably two months. Uh, very nice course, very nice race. I like the downhill at the end. Um, hill was challenging. PR'd it, but I'm good. So I did uh, 45 minutes, I think, on this race here. So I'll be back down for the half marathon trail run. I'm, uh, I didn't put myself in a couple of races just to see how much I can endure and persevere through a lot of races. So I've been enjoying it, man. I mean, it's a blessing just to even be running as much as I am. I tore out my left patella tendon. I dislocated my left hip, and they told me I couldn't be walking. But I see I'm running, and I'm finishing hard and strong. I've been running for several years, and uh, I've come to this one the first year they had it. It was it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't been able to do the last two or three because there's always something else going on. Uh, the, the tunnel is what really makes it really different. Uh, it's uphill all the way to it, but you get a nice finish coming downhill. Uh, this uh, five miler is uh, something everybody ought to try. Yes, encourage everybody to come out, give it a try. Yes, great run. Great everybody run. needs to try it. Great, great place. So next time I will be coming back down and do this race next year. And then I'm gonna have a couple more friends and I'm gonna tell them about it so we can all come down together. So hopefully we'll be at least 10 strong. With all my miles in, done a little over 51,000 miles, and uh, I'd recommend this race for anybody to come and try something new. After the race, it's time to take in some local vendors as community groups and artisans alike stretch across the festival to give visitors a taste of local color and craftsmanship. But what American festival will be complete without a pageant? There's Luke Briscoe. And his little suspenders there. His eye color is blue, his hair color is blonde. Her eye color is brown, her hair color is black. She's 18 months old. Her parents are Clifford and Lucille Robinson. Her eye color is blue and her hair is blonde. Her parents are Alicia Little and Darren Dawson. Keely is 12 years old. She hails from Hardricks Creek in Clay City. Division, age 16 to 21, Queen Division. Contestant number one, as she makes her way to the stage, is Caitlin Rose. Contestant number two is Haley Shea Willoughby. After a bite to eat, it's time to check out the incredible cars parked along the outside of the festival grounds. From modern imports to classics, NataFest offers something for every kind of car enthusiast. But as the afternoon gives way to evening, local artists from throughout Kentucky break out the guitars to offer a local music experience that can't be found anywhere else.
that is passing. It's a great event. The weather's really pretty. Wish we had a bigger crowd. But uh, Patty Brown and the committee that puts this together has worked really hard and, and to try to have a lot of good music, a lot of good vendors. Uh, uh, just, uh, just a good time, and just would like to see more people come out and participate. But, uh, but it's a great event and, uh, and a good weekend for with the weather we've had. So. For years, this is an area that you know we was known for rock climbing, that kind of thing, but we never really had any festival or something. So the commitment of this committee and Patty Brown and the folks that worked with us on, it's really nice to see them step up and try to bring a festival or an activity here beyond uh, what we had in years past. So every year it seems to get a little better and uh, they've been persistent. And I really appreciate their efforts toward uh, making this happen. Don't mean it's gonna be pain 